So I got this tree about a year ago and it was very bushy. Uh, it had about eight individual stems coming up from the soil. And what I want to do is kind of thin this out to allow the larger stems grow better. And so I took a pair of pliers like this, uh, make sure you clean it, and took a clipping from the very bottom. And I did that because these uh, this is still a very young tree, but if you have an older tree that is taller, you can take clippings from the top. And you want to try to get about three to five leaves when you do the clipping. And what I did was use water propagation. And so you can see here, um, I took about four or five leaves and stuck it in water. And in about a month, uh, a, root, a very good root system developed. And I didn't really do anything special in terms of upkeep. Pretty much um, right after clipping, I didn't let it callus. I stuck it directly in tap water in a jar like this, and I put it um, next to my window and it gets afternoon sunlight. Um, it's in the summertime, July right now, so it does get pretty strong direct sunlight, but it is filtered through by the screen door. And I think that really helps speed up this process is that getting a lot of sunlight and it's very warm. And in about a month, you do get this really nice, nice root system. And what I do plan to do um, is actually put these into potting soil and actually um, let them start growing in soil so they have some time to adjust uh, before the fall and winter time. But as you can see, I took four clippings and all four have rooted really well. There are other methods to propagate, um, such as air layering or sticking the cuttings directly in soil. But I just did water pro propagation and it turned out really successful. One note is just to make sure that when you do take these cuttings, uh, to be careful of the sap that comes out. So either wear gloves or just don't cut the tip where you cut because the sap can irritate your skin. Uh, but again, I didn't really let it callus over, stuck it directly in water, um, and just kind of refilled the water as it went down. And in about a month, you'll have rooted rubber trees just like this.